6.51 a.m. So we put an offer on a house. So there is a competing offer, so we've heard. Um, so I don't know, cross your fingers. It's a beautiful house uh, in a beautiful neighborhood. And yeah, I will put the address in the, no, I won't either. I take that back. If it becomes my house, which I don't know yet at the time of filming, I don't want y'all, no offense, I love you all, but I don't want everybody to on YouTube land to have my address. So that won't work. But anyway, um, it's a beautiful house. I'll insert some pictures here if I can. Um, Yeah, anyway. <sighs> Stressful. Whether we get it or not, I have to start packing up stuff um, because we're going to have work done on the interior of the house I'm sitting in right now to get it ready to be sold uh, to go on the market. So I have to do some packing. Uh, we started with my husband's office last night, packed up enough of it that he could still work in there. But um, there's some... Um, drywall stuff that's got to go on in there. He's got 1970s paneling up in that wall, uh, up in that office, and it's got to come down. So um, it's the one bit of it that we never took down when we bought this house. So it's got to come down now. So we're going to do that, have that done, I think, this week. I'm just waiting to hear from the handyman. It's really early. I'm, I'm drinking my coffee. Um, and then I got to go get dressed and take a shower, but I have to start packing up our library area, which is actually in front of me on the other side of the living room. And then we're going to use that as an area to stack boxes and I need to start packing up the art room. I'm going to just leave out the stuff I need to have out to cre not only create art, but continue to run business as long as possible in the Etsy shop. So everything else has got to go. <sighs> never thought I'd say that. It's got to go packed. I'm not getting rid of it, people. Don't panic. Anyway, and I've got to remember to take a deep breath because this is going to be stressful. All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. Okay, so more moving diaries. Um, yes, so we put did put the offer in on the house. I said that already. We're waiting. It's just a waiting game now. There are multiple offers and um, I'm not going to break the budget or the bank to win the house. While I love the house, um, if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. I'm not going to go crazy about it. Um, the, the bank people are like going crazy. At one point, my phone literally rung six times in a row. I would literally hang up. As I was hanging up with one person, somebody else was calling me. <laughs> Just gonna be the future of my life from for a little while I think um, we have had some pushback from some family members who we finally broke the news to that we were serious about moving and put a bid in on, on a property and support came from the unexpected places that I wasn't completely while it wasn't a surprise I wasn't completely expecting it and discouragement came from the place I thought would be more encouraging. So that was a disappointment. To the point where I asked my husband if he was sure that we were doing the right thing before we, you know, while we can still back out. And he said, no, we need, I, I really want to do this. He's just discouraged that people are not more supportive and he's, um, Stressed, as stressed as I am about the fact that it's happening very quickly, but I kind of knew this would happen. I suspected. I don't think he was quite prepared for it. I thought he would be, I think he thought it would be a more leisurely process. It's not going to be. Anyway, yeah. Fun times. I, you know, when you start off the morning shattering the butter dish on the kitchen floor, it's just going to be an interesting Monday. That's all I can say. Welcome to another episode of the Moving Diaries. <laughs> we still haven't heard if our offer was accepted or not. Um, we're also waiting at the same time to hear from bank people. 
I'm not going to go into too many personal financial details, but um, anyway, we're you know juggling things to do this in a way that's least stressful. Only the banks don't want to let you. So, those of you who have been um, in this situation understand exactly what I mean. Where you own one property, you want to move and buy the new one before you sell the old one. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So anyway. It's a stressful couple of weeks I knew was coming. That doesn't mean I'm looking for, I'm, you know, happy with it. I knew it was coming. Anyway, um, I've started packing up the library area. There's some boxes behind me. And uh, my husband's office is um, like half packed. The handyman's coming in next week to start patching walls and taking down some paneling in my husband's office that's really ugly and that sort of thing, getting the house ready to show. I was pulling a painting off the wall and yeah, I did that. So I gotta go get some stuff to fix it. I don't wanna pay the handyman to do more than I have to, so yeah, I gotta go to the hardware store. Maybe I can get it fixed before the husband comes home and he won't notice. Maybe. Doubtful, but maybe. All right, that's it for the moment. Hey guys, <coughs> sorry. More moving diaries. So I started to get things packed today. Um, we have plenty of time. I don't even know if we want to bid on the house yet. And if we didn't, then we have to keep looking. But I can just pack a few boxes a day or a week and sort of stack things up in corners and go through things as I'm doing it and figure out what we're keeping and what we're not keeping. And yeah. All of that move some furniture out into the garage like I had two of these bookcases the other ones I already got the other one out in the garage it was a smaller one this is really big um, and it's not completely obviously empty yet so um, once it is empty I'll have to have my husband help me get in the garage because it's gonna be way too big um, so yeah stressful day of waiting to hear if our um, Offer is going to be accepted if our financing is going to go through everything, you know. <laughs> um, I have kept myself busy doing the packing, and as I'm removing things from the walls, I'm um, you can see the little paint, little jars and brushes behind me over my shoulder there. I am patching holes as I go, and that way, theoretically, when we get the last piece out, there's not that much to do in theory but there are whole rooms that need patching and repainting way more than I can do um, like my art room so we're gonna have to have a handyman come in and do that um, which is supposed to happen after the 4th of July uh, the week after so I have to between now and then get this area packed up enough so that I can uh, pack up the art room maybe out here um, <laughs> big job um, way maybe out here um, in this area um, and out it has to be out of that room and uh, things have to be off the walls and yeah it's got to be off and cleaned off um, so they can get in there and patch and paint I can leave my computer in and maybe a few supplies I can wheel out of the way but um, the majority of stuff I'm not going to use it's got to be packed up and it's gonna have to just be packed up until like we find a house which sucks but there you have it Anyway, that's it for now. I am going to have some dinner and I will talk to y'all later. Bye. You know, my video camera, just uh, webcam, I should say, just doesn't want to work this morning. I don't know. <laughs> just, it's being temperamental. Um, so we haven't heard on the property we made an offer on yet. Um, the family, the seller family is themselves relocating. And I think they're away from home right now looking at properties. But we're supposed to hear sometime today, so that's really crazy. Um, we're getting some pushback about moving from unexpected sources and people we thought would be more supportive, and that's disappointing. Uh, while we ourselves acknowledge that this is a scary, frightening, huge step for us to make, my husband and I don't. Uh, move lightly. We don't like to move. That's why we've been, been here in this house over 20 years. Um, 
that doesn't mean that we're making a rash decision. We have researched this for literally for years. We've looked at hundreds of homes online. We've looked at dozens of homes in different locations around the country, researching places to live. We keep going back to Portland. So, um, and my, com my husband and his company has a division up there. He wants to keep working for the company and for as long as possible. Um, his commute will be shorter. Like there's a lot of reasons for us to go that way. None of which have to do with people we know living up there. That's a bonus. Um, that all being said, we're very disappointed in the people and places that are not being supportive with us making this change and surprisingly happily joyful uh, with the people who we didn't expect to be supportive but are. So for those of you who are being supportive, you know who you are, th we thank you. And especially some of you, uh, including my um, nearly 80-year-old parents who said, so how many trucks do you need us to drive down and bring your stuff up? <laughs> so, so um, you know, yeah, so we, we thank you. Uh, no matter how this works out, thank you. Um, our search for a house may not be over. We may not get this one, and that's okay. It's going to work out how it's supposed to. I'm letting go of that. In the meantime, we're having work done here on this house. Um, so I've started packing up certain rooms, and this one has got to be packed up um, at least a lot more than it is right now. The majority of stuff has to be packed up so that they can come in and do drywall repair, and they're going to paint in here for um, to get it ready for sale because I can't leave it the blue. The, where are we? The blue. It's not a, you know, it has to be neutral. So um, my laundry room is purple too, so that's got to be painted also. <laughs> anyway, um, and that's fine. I am keeping out on my two IKEA carts, this one and this one. What I'm going to need to go forward, the computer desk we're sitting at will stay, um, and probably the big, where is it? The big work table. But everything on the work table and everything in the corner and this other desk and this table next to me will all go. It'll all go away um, and be packed. Uh, I have like two or three weeks. <laughs> I don't know if it's enough time. Anyway, in the meantime, so we didn't win the bid on the house. We got outbid by more than $15,000. 15000 that's a lot of money. And the house was already, um, I think they were already asking too much for the house. So anyway, yeah, I guess we keep looking. Oh boy. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of The Moving Diaries. I really just felt the need to document our journey through selling our house we've had for more than 20 years and finding our new place, our dream house and getting that whole process done and all of the stressful and happy and exciting things that happen in between. So um, the unexpected to the expected. Um, it's not an easy process. Those of you who have moved, some of you way more than me know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't move easily. This is only going to be my third time as an adult that I've moved. And this is a pretty major one. I've never as an adult lived outside of the state of California. So yeah, it's going to be fun. We do love the Portland area though. It's a little bit colder and damper than down here uh, in California, but we do love the atmosphere up there. Um, and so, yeah, <laughs> um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave it in the, um, comments below on the, this video. Um, if you go to the video description, any relevant links are going to be there. And if I forget, somebody remind me in the comments. Um, you'll also find my link tree link, which will give you a list of every single place you can find me on the internet, including Instagram, Twitter, Facebook groups, everything, Etsy shop, all of it. So 
That's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of The Moving Diaries. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like notifications of when the next video uh, comes out, hit that little bell icon. And uh, that's it for right now. Go out and have a great day, everybody. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.